know, it goes along with my previous one about how last time I did step ups, I had a much higher step height, but lower weight. And today I flipped those. Her question was, I can do my pelvic floor and core contraction uh, and the correct activation pattern when I'm in an easy exercise like a bridge, but I go into a lunge and I completely lose that. Um, what do I do to get there? Which is a great question. And it goes along with the different ways that we can change parameters within those easy exercises to still continue to improve on strength, coordination, activation patterns, stability that take a small step toward something more complex like a lunge. So I'll give you an example. So there's totally a reason why easier exercises start on your back. We don't have to worry about gravity, we're taking our foot out of the equation for the most part, depending on what it is, and total balance and stability work. So let's give you some examples of um, progressing something like a bridge is still going to move you forward and progress an overload toward that goal. And so if we take a simple bridge, one of the easiest ways towards change changing that is all those previous parameters with resistance, increasing that, increasing sets, decreasing weights, so on and so forth. My other favorite way after that is to work towards single leg, which would be like a B stance, which I need to scoot a little bit, where I'm just using my heel and I'm working towards loading that single leg a little bit more. I still have to think about my pelvic stability. I still have to think about my foot connection onto the ground, but I've made it incrementally harder, not greatly more difficult. So within that sort of B stance, um, or maybe call this a kickstand sort of movement, that again, we can increase sets, reps, adding more resistance, decreasing rest, all of that stuff. You can then even go back to a bilateral bridge, send one leg out, single leg lower. We can change the um, speed of the reps. I can go up for one, and I can lower down for three, where I'm challenging the centered portion more. So that's an option. Then you can move into just a single leg bridge. You can elevate this foot on a bench into an elevated single leg bridge. And then we would have worked sufficiently a lot of options that continue to prepare you for more single leg strength and stability before you get to lunge. And then of course I would do things like standing um, single leg squat to a bench first or a B stand. This is a really good reminder that when you are working on improving your pelvic floor and core function, dysfunction issues, you need to prioritize activation pattern first and then move on increasing your strength. If you add a load too quickly or add too much complexity and you lose that, you're not benefiting yourself. So, you know, if you're deadlifting 300 pounds but you're still leaking, there is something we're missing in the equation in your pressure control. At a certain load, you're losing something, you gotta go back and work it where you can do it and then slowly make those changes. I'm actually talking about something along these lines and setting realistic goals based on these concepts in my email this week. If you're not on the list, I will put the link, sign up every Friday, 9 a.m. it goes out.